It's time, everybody. Welcome to the Super Bowl here in the Arizona Cardinals Med 19 Rebuild Franchise. We've been building this team now for a handful of seasons. We're in year five in this series, and I'm honestly surprised we've made it this far this fast. But once you make it to the postseason, this is what's possible. And that's why all anybody ever wants is a shot. Whether you have nine wins, 12 wins, 13 wins, all it takes is the right team to come together at the right time and anybody that makes it can be a champion. Here we are to meet the Miami Dolphins in the first year of Lester Phelps at starting quarterback. Our road to this spot has been very interesting. With the start of this series having Josh Rosen as a rookie, we had him for four seasons and I thought he was mostly good. However, I thought that with Lester Phelps, we had a chance to be better. We began this season 6-2, struggled down the stretch to only finish 9-6-1, which was lucky to be a number two seed in the conference. Nine wins and a first round bye are not normally a combination. This year it was, but we proved worthy defeating the Chicago Bears and defeating the Philadelphia Eagles in impressive fashion to make it here. And now one more win and the Lombardi is ours. Thank you all for the support in the Browns rebuild because without that series, we're not here with this series. I love this formula. Let's go. Super Bowl time is here. And the Dolphins started out with a throw underneath complete to Childress for a short pickup. Oh, they're going empty now on just the second play. Thompson quick for Gasicki and he dropped it. Who broke that up? Looks like Pat Pete. Third down and five. Patrick Peterson was awesome last episode and there was a great comment in the last video as the Dolphins are going to move the chains. But that comment talked about Goskowski and Pat Pete, two veterans trying to get us back to the Super Bowl. It felt like a really special game with the players that stepped up and the plays that they were able to come through with. Dolphins are going to run things now. And Alex Collins is going backwards four yards. Joey Bosa on the stop. Miami's going to run it here. Childress, nice spin. That was pretty fast. He might have one of those better spin moves if he can do that. I know when you get to a higher rating, you're able to unlock some special animations. That looked pretty special. It was fast. Third down and seven. Thompson sets up the screen. And it's incomplete. Good hit, Jalen Smith. Jalen's been such a key contributor ever since we signed him. And I could have easily just looked for a solution in the draft, but that's a spot where a free agent move has made such a huge difference. So we force a punt to start the game. And we'll begin at our own 20. There's number five, Lester Phelps coming off what I thought was one of the best games of his career. He came up big in Philly with some of the best throws I've ever seen him make. And now a chance to deliver a trophy to the Cardinals. By the way, before the Super Bowl, I was able to do another upgrade. And yes, it was for Aaron Howell yet again. I think he has Superstar written all over him. And imagine if we had gotten that Rookie of the Year award. That would have been amazing. But Aaron Howell is an 80 overall. His cover ratings are very good. And he's going to be a star for a long time. Just to catch you up on what the Dolphins offer us in this challenge, Brian Thompson is in his fourth season. He's an 84 overall. And he's a very accurate quarterback. So I'm not expecting too many mistakes unless he's throwing deep or outside the pocket. He's also not one to break many sacks, so if we get there, we should be bringing him down. Alex Collins is a great running back, a height, weight, speed player who can beat you in many ways on the field. JT Childress, we already saw he's going to be used as their receiving back. At receiver, Devontae Parker and Kenny Stills are both solid, but I wouldn't say receiver is a strong suit. Mike Gesicki could be a big problem as a vertical threat tight end. I don't think their offensive line is particularly strong, although their right side is better than their left. Defensively, they're pretty good along the defensive line. I'll give them credit there. And at linebacker, I think we have to respect some of that speed they have, although Shaq Thompson is the only player that really worries me. With Denzel Perryman, it's just the hit power and the hit sticks. At corner, they're pretty good. 
with Keiston Easton here in the nickel, it looks like. Ronald Darby, Nikel Roby Coleman, Minka Fitzpatrick's also great. These, to me, are two teams that aren't your prototypical Super Bowl teams. They could both use a little work, but they're also pretty solid teams. So here we go. Arizona getting to work for the first time offensively. Lester Phelps starts with a completion into the hands of Will Wade. And we're running it on second down. Johnson stays patient, gets about two. Was that enough? Yes. I think if either team can run, that's going to be huge because I would give a lot of credit to both secondaries. I think ours is better, but I feel that both secondaries are more talented than the receivers they're defending, and there's nearly a pick there for Miami as White couldn't hang on. I think the key is to run the football well and don't turn the football over, and that goes for both teams. Handoff here, Johnson all the way out. Good move past Jones, but then taken down. I didn't realize this was a 3-4 defense, which doesn't change a lot, but it makes me worry about this defense a little bit more if we go compact because they fit the 3-4 really well. Here's Phelps on third down, airing this one out, and Ronald Darby's taking it away. Intended for Parker Tate. We throw it to him a lot, it seems. Or at least he gets involved consistently. And Darby is their top corner. That was not the right player to test and certainly not the right time. I don't plan on simming a lot of this game. I really enjoy watching these. And I might do some simming later, but for now, I want to watch. Miami football. Brian Thompson off the fake. He's going down the middle, and that's what worried me most about this team. Kasiki is a great vertical threat tight end. I believe it was 85 or 86 speed. Now, can we contain him? I think that we have as good a personnel as anybody to do it with Boston, Baker, and Jalen Smith, along with Parker Wood. But it's not just a good plan to stop these vertical tight ends. They can make their plays anyway. From the 36, draw play now. Childress gets another one. We're not seeing much Alex Collins. It seems their scheme benefits Childress a lot more. I think they should still be using Collins a lot because of his speed. But I'm not mad he's on the bench right now. From the 29-yard line. They go trips to the top of the screen. Fake by Thompson. Screen for Stills. No first down. Now it appears Alex Collins is in the football game. Handoff incoming. Collins has it. They love to spread the field, though. Thompson gets it out quick, and Gesicki hangs on to it with Buda Baker in coverage. A 6 of 8 start for Brayan Thompson. He's playing well in the early goings. We're going to bring Buda Baker down. Thompson to throw it outside for Gesicki. Turns up inside the 5. Wasn't sure if he could turn the corner, but he's that fast. It appears I was right about the players to be worried about in this matchup. And they're going four wide now. This is really interesting offense. On first down, touchdown, Devontae Parker. That strike got right past. I didn't see who dropped back there in coverage. But it's a perfect throw for Devontae Parker as the Dolphins strike first. 7-0 Miami. Now, I'm not too worried about the INT that Phelps threw. It's just I don't think that was a good chance to take. And not the right receiver to be throwing at in that spot regardless. Parker Tate hasn't made a huge impact as a rookie. I'm not fully sold on him yet. Here goes Johnson all the way to the right side. Good carry. Third down and short. Third and two, and I saw someone move early. That's got to be on us. They didn't go into the neutral zone at all. Phelps heads to the air on third and seven, gets it out for Howard, and that's going to move the chains. Howard stays on his feet, and he'll stumble his way across the 50. We have two outstanding vertical threat tight ends, three if you want to include Ricky Seals-Jones, and I think you probably should because of how much of an impact he's made simply when given the chance. Phelps on first down, across the middle into traffic and trying to justify my praise of Ricky. Phelps fakes inside. I thought he was handing that off and throws off the mark as he had a man open. Those are the plays you can't afford to miss. So drastically different starts here for the quarterbacks. Thompson very effective. Phelps 
Not really. Just a couple completions so far. Third down and 10. Phelps protected. Going deep again. Got White inside the 10. He'll go the distance. Touchdown, Arizona. There's that deep ball for Isaac White I've been waiting for for so long. Perfect timing. Dolphins play too deep, but they blitz a safety, meaning it's single coverage here on the outside. And the speed of White is just too much. Dolphins played it risky, and they pay the price. Brian Thompson quickly comes back with a 21-yarder to Brenton Mullins. And I think we're going to start watching again. I kind of wanted to slow things down just a little bit. But apparently the Dolphins are going to move the football. So let's keep an eye on this. Brian Thompson having a good start to the football game. And already they're inside of Arizona territory. Coming out in the I formation against the soft look here defensively. What is this? Cornerbacks lining up near the safeties as Alex Collins gets four. Here we go. Our clock settings are set up mostly for a hybrid between watching and simming. So I kind of wanted to watch a little bit or sim a little bit. Nice break up there on the pass. So I might sim a couple possessions unless they get across midfield. Third down and six now in field goal range for Miami. A sack could change all that. And everybody in tight. We send the blitz. Picked up. Thompson for Kenny Stills. First down and a huge hit by Jalen Smith. Looks like Aaron Howell's going to see mostly Devontae Parker. They were not matched up on Parker's touchdown. No off play action. End zone incomplete. Got to force some threes here. We have Thompson to throw on third and six. He's pressured and gets it out there. Kenny Stills lost it. Looked like maybe a catch and fumble, but it goes in the books as an incompletion, and they'll be kicking. So good job there by the defense, and it'll be a Miami lead most likely. This is good. Simming a little bit of Arizona as they take over. Nine yards here out of David Johnson. Will Wade for five. Then going backwards again. But we keep making up for it. Close to midfield and across. Okay, we'll watch just like we did with the Dolphins last possession. On paper, this did to me seem like a really even matchup. So I, I'm not surprised we're having a good game so far. Isaac White back for more on the catch and run. I love it. That's 79 yards already for Isaac White. Phelps on first down. Needs to get this away and does. What a catch. I think that Phelps handles pressure quite well. 4.36 to go here in the first half. Phelps short again. White with the fight to the middle. And he's got a first down. Anytime we can feed one of our best players early and often, I like the game plan. Isaac White, five catches already. Now trying to finish this drive. Cards go empty. Phelps, end zone. Touchdown! O.J. Howard with a display of strong hands in traffic. Check this out one more time. The coverage is there. But that's what a high-level player is supposed to do right there. 14-10, Aaron Howell. How you doing? He knocks away a pass from Thompson, but then Gesicki. A loss of two by Childress and a nine-yarder to Gesicki. Knocked away by Jalen Smith, and there's a punt. 240 left to go. Cardinals, can they get across the 50? If so, we'll watch. And we're going to grind that out here with the running game. Second down, sacked. Maybe nothing here on this possession then. Trying to get us closer to halftime. We just run. And the Dolphins take over. They're not going far on this possession. Okay, Gesicki gets involved. That's where things change. But still low on time. No timeouts. Looks like this one is going to go to the half. 14-10. Even game so far. Really fun. Good to see our Cardinals in front, and then oh, Lester Phelps picks six to start the second half. Shaq Thompson for the touchdown. I try not to miss big moments. Sorry about that one, but Miami now takes the lead here in the second half. That's two interceptions now in the game for Phelps, and they've done a good job containing the ground game. 
Phelps hands it off again. Johnson with more room this time. Taken down at the 31-yard line. On third down, Phelps gets time, and there's another completion. Isaac White over 100 yards on the day. Could be a career day for Isaac White. He's at 108 already. Oh, no, I was hoping that was play action. What a stop in the backfield by Owens. Third and nine here for the Cardinals. We go with that stack formation. Phelps protected, climbs, airs it out, and Roby Coleman picks it. He'll turn this back. It could be another score. Phelps can't prevent the touchdown, or maybe he can. That is three interceptions now for Lester Phelps. We did just get the help of a false start, so if we can hold them to a field goal, I would feel good about that. Thompson buying time, rolling out. Bosa chases him, and he still gets a couple yards. Thompson fakes on second down, drops it off to Spanos, who's denied at the doorstep of the end zone. Third down. Someone's got to make this stop for us. I don't want to fall two scores down. Third and goal. What do the Dolphins do? They're going to pass. Thompson intercepted. It's Buda Baker. Way better than a field goal. Cardinals take over. Wow. Look at this dive in front of Kenny Stills. Baker has been huge all series. He had two picks back in the divisional round of the playoffs, and he's back to help us out again. Why are we showing off Nick Chubb's stats? Is something wrong with DJ? And is Lester Phelps going to stop making these critical mistakes? The defense just bailed him out big time. We need him to play better now. On first down, we're running. David Johnson is the back, and he'll rumble for four. On second down, over the middle again. Nicely done there. We get DJ involved now in the pass game. How big was that tackle now by Lester Phelps at the one? A huge swing with how everything played out. Now we run the stretch. Johnson, no. Good defense. Got to come through on these third downs. The running game has not been all that consistent today. Hard to stay in good third down situations without it. Needing 11 here. Phelps to the outside. Got it! And there goes Wade. Across the 40 to the 30 and taken out of bounds. They tried to jump another. This time it works out for us. Both defenses are extremely capable of forcing mistakes, though. I think that we need to keep things on the ground if we can. Gotta keep trying. It's a fake now from Phelps on second down. He's retreating, and now he's going to fire a strike into the end zone. Who was that intended for? Minka Fitzpatrick returns it out, and I still have no idea who Phelps threw that for. What was that? Was someone through the back of the end zone on this play? We have White over the middle, and yeah, that's exactly what happens. Oh, he's there in the back end line. Oh, man, Phelps. The other receivers would have been a better idea. Come on. A mistake-filled Super Bowl for Lester Phelps continues. We're still only down three. 17-14 Dolphins. They take over at the 16. Three tight ends in the game. Could be Alex Collins' time. Instead, they'll throw it. Thompson to the middle. Devontae Parker with the reception. Very powerful there. Now it's a fake from Thompson. He gets time, fires a strike that gets knocked away. Jalen Smith. Thompson hands this one to Collins, and we're there to make the play. That's all Jalen Graham. They've been one-dimensional even more so than we have, and they're still in front. Obviously, the pick six helped, but their offense, I think, has functioned better because they're not turning the football over. Now third down and ten. Thompson right back to the air, steps up, gets hit, and that is ruled incomplete. And Graham's now shaken up on the play. Another big stop. To have thrown four interceptions already and only be down three is extremely lucky. But we're not going to stay lucky if we keep throwing interceptions. 
It's the Super Bowl. I say you keep Graham out there. Am I able to decide here? Can we clean things up, Phelps? I know you can. On first down, Lester Phelps is not done airing this out, but he overthrows his receiver. I wish there was a way to make like a coaching decision here to like, okay, let's focus on different kinds of passes because we want to adjust to the defense. There's another one downfield. He's just going to keep throwing. Phelps is fearless. I'll give him that. And that can be what gets us back to playing well offensively. Here's White on the reception for a gain of five. Seven catches now for Isaac White and a buck 13. A minute 24 to go in this quarter. Phelps delayed handoff. Love the decision. And another good tackle. That's Rashad Jones. We've had what seem to be a few chances at big runs where Johnson has made somebody miss and then someone comes in to quickly stop him. Third and one. What's the call? We're going to keep it with DJ. He's got this. We're on to quarter number four. It's 17-14. We need Phelps to be at his best. Here's one for Will Wade for a short pickup. Got to get five yards now. Third down for Phelps. Has time, buys more, and throws it outside. Incomplete. Dolphins should be taking over here. All right, defense, keep it close. Dolphins football after a poor punt by McConnell. And they're going to run it. And Collins almost gets outside of Graham. They're running with Childress this time. And a huge hit delivered. Couldn't see if that was Parker Wood. But that was an outstanding hit. Third and five Miami. Jalen Smith in the middle of everything. As Collins is going all the way outside. Thompson heads to the air and throws it off the mark. And he missed an open man. Whoa, that was a really strange kick. Did you see how he windmilled the football before kicking that? I thought there was some fake going on. What was that animation? He then proceeded to punt the ball 72 yards downfield. So, flipping field position, Cardinals take over, and we're going empty. Nine minutes left to go in the Super Bowl. Another catch for Isaac White. Wade in motion, now we sweep it, and Johnson has no chance here. Under three yards a carry. It's going to have to be Lester Phelps, it seems, to go and win this game. Our offense has been cold for a while, though. I can't remember when our last score came. Here's third and four. Got O.J. Howard outside. I know O.J. Howard was the one to score our last touchdown, but that seems like an eternity ago. From the 36, a little draw play, and there goes Johnson. That's what we like to see. And that's probably the best way to run on this defense. We can't really beat them with power. I think they're matched up too well in run defense. They have a really good defensive line too, so I don't like anything but spreading them out. Here goes Johnson on another draw play, getting us across midfield. Phelps from the 46, hits White yet again. He'll hang on to this one ahead to the 36 of Miami. Remember, a field goal will tie the game, so hopefully we don't get over aggressive, but I still want to get that six. Defenses have both played well in this second half. Cardinals first down, here's Phelps. Let's things develop. I see a lot of receivers downfield, and now Curtis Samuel breaks a tackle. He's inside the 15 with a good pickup. That was a 23-yard catch and run, and a big one for one of our role players that has become a fan favorite. On first down, we fake. Phelps be smart. Outside. Caught by Seals Jones. Play actions are what make me the most nervous. Now second down from the eight. Parker Tate in as the second receiver, by the way. And after motion, another play action. Phelps is dropped. I hope from the 16 we play this smart. Two receivers in for the Cardinals on third down. And it's a handoff here. I don't have play actions in third and long. So we're playing for the three. Goskowski with a 29-yard attempt. 
And it is good. So we've tied the game at last. Now 3.43 left to go. Who's going to emerge victorious here in the final moments of the Super Bowl? Here's the kick deep. And it's returnable at the goal line. Keiston Easton to the 25 and taken down. Can the defense come up with any big plays? Miami football, they come out in a full house pistol formation. And they drew us off sides it looked like, but I don't see a flag. Thompson going long for Gasicki. Good play. Three minutes left to go. Thompson against the blitz, short for Gasicki. Another solid pickup, seven yards. Compact formation on second down. Thompson hands it to Alex Collins and he'll find the first down yardage. Two minutes to play here in the Super Bowl and the game is tied from midfield. Thompson rolls out and he goes down. Jalen Graham with the clutch pressure and sack. Dolphins backed up now, second down and 18. That play changed a lot. Now they've got to work just to get back into field or close to field goal range instead of being a good play away. And now they just keep going backwards. No lapses in deep coverage. This is where we go press. I'm surprised we're not playing soft here. Still two deep safeties though. And they're going to run it. Childress into Joey Bosa. I love to use a timeout right here and preserve time because I don't think they're going to convert here. Their plans really changed on this possession. Third and 24, another loss. And we're getting the football now with a minute 20 left to go. This is our chance for Lester Phelps to go win the Super Bowl. I guess that's just his animation or whatever. There's Hawks kick and it's going to die inside the 10. Wow, we have to go 94 for a touchdown or obviously less for a field goal. But we're starting out here, backed up. First and goal for Lester Phelps. He'll head to the air. Fires outside for O.J. Howard, and the football gets punched out. Could be some pressure here, and it's a blitz out there. DJ, oh, man, why couldn't he drop that? Third down from inside the five. Suddenly, we're in danger of kicking the ball to them with a good chance for them to score. One play can change so much. Third down and 13. Howard motions, please no play action. It's a handoff for Johnson and he won't try anything fancy. Dolphins use a timeout with 43 seconds left. I need a good punt out of you McConnell. Here's the kick and it's going to go inside the 40 of Miami and Hanson here into Cardinal territory to the 48. So a solid run back, and they're very close to field goal range. 34 seconds left. I think that first down's about what they need, depending on who their kicker is. Here at home in the Super Bowl, can we hold? Thompson, downfield, and almost picked. Peterson had a great chance at it. Aaron Howell to the bottom, covering Devontae Parker. On second down, Thompson. Almost broken up. Parker Wood got there, but it's a five yard catch. 26 seconds left to go. Thompson third and four. Chase back, fires, and there's Devontae Parker. Aaron Howell couldn't contain him. And the Dolphins are in range for the game winning field goal. They got him on the deep in. Parker created miles of separation and it might be what lifts the Dolphins to a win. They are now inside 10 seconds. They gotta be careful here, what are they doing? Are they gonna call a timeout? They don't, they run it. Childress, zeros on the clock, what is happening? They just lost their chance, they wanted to get closer and they used up all the time left to do it. So we're going to overtime instead. Phelps and Jalen Smith meet in the middle, our two captains. This game not over yet, and the Dolphins are getting the football first in overtime. So Miami, who had a chance to kick the game-winning field goal, now has to try it in overtime. 
coming out in the eye. Thompson play action. Pressured and he barely gets it off. Another near sack fumble. I wonder if a recent patch addressed that because I've seen that play out a lot of times in the past couple weeks. And they're going backwards again it appears. Thompson on second and 15. Gesicki underneath gets them closer for third down. Third and five for Miami. Thompson across the middle. Gesicki gets open again. He got behind almost everybody. First down toward midfield. Big days receiving for both Mike Gesicki and Isaac White. At the 47 yard line. They're closing in on field goal range. Stills in short motion. Thompson chased. Oh my. Joey Bosa. And Thompson is shaken up. Grabbing at his non-throwing shoulder. Bosa got there so fast. Oh, he's being rushed to the locker room as well. That is not a good sign. As they're going to have to lean back now on Ryan Tannehill. He's their backup. And now back in the game in the Super Bowl. At midfield, it's a third down and nine. Tannehill trying to come off the bench and deliver some magic. Tannehill misses the throw, and that's going to force a punt. Let's go. Ryan, Cardinals take over now. Next score wins. Phelps hands it to David Johnson. He'll get nothing. Actually, a two-yard gain there for Johnson. Now second down, heading back to the pass. Phelps drops it off over the middle, and Johnson won't get much here either. I didn't think the defenses would control this game as much as they have. Only 27 points have been scored by the offense. Here's Phelps on third and six, and he'll fire a strike for Isaac White. What a throw and catch. Drive extended. Go with the game, Lester. Phelps to Johnson here. He's finally got some room on the stretch and picks up around 10 yards. Let's go. Phelps hands off another one. Johnson down the middle. He's setting us up very close to Goskowski's range. Phelps back to the air now on first down and nearly intercepted. Could have been his fifth. On second down, Phelps spins, might look to run, but he's in trouble, and then throws incomplete. Ryan Kelly hurt on the play. It would be a 58-yard field goal attempt from here. On third down, Phelps fires deep, and there's Isaac White. Got him again over the middle, and now we're in field goal range. We aren't kicking yet, however. We go to a two tight end formation, and Phelps is going to keep passing. Lester Phelps outside, Isaac White inside the 10. He's been so busy. Number 12 makes his 12th catch. I think if we win this, that Isaac White's going to be Super Bowl MVP. Although Shaq Thompson could still win it. I've seen defensive players win it because of a pick six or a touchdown. Now we're running to set things up for Goskowski if need be. Second and goal for Phelps over the middle. David Johnson, not much there. Third down. Let's go. Keep it on the ground, Lester. No piece throwing. Phelps spins, fires, end zone. Touchdown! Christian Kirk wins it, and the Super Bowl belongs to Arizona. We win it in our own building and way ahead of schedule. The Cardinals have done it. A walk-off winner from Lester Phelps to Christian Kirk, and the confetti falls on the Cardinals. What a season. I couldn't have ever expected we could have won the Super Bowl this year. I thought we'd have a good year, compete for the postseason, but then we played so well against the Bears, even better against Philly, and now against the Dolphins, we didn't play great. And obviously, we got super lucky that their clock management was terrible and they didn't kick. But we end up winning. We threw it when we could have kicked. And we end up with a game-winning touchdown. Christian Kirk, after all this, 
He's been so key here in the postseason run. Super Bowl MVP, it looks like it's going to Lester Phelps. Despite all the interceptions, he does throw the game-winning touchdown at the final moment in overtime. And at last, the Cardinals have their first ever Super Bowl win. And there's your trophy celebration. Yeah, we got Jalen Smith in there. Defense is represented. We did it. I did not think this would be the team to do it. But there it is, an unlikely Super Bowl run, Cardinals champs. What a back and forth game, a few different lead changes and a lot of big moments. Dolphins, they should have won the Super Bowl, yes. They had a couple chances, missed them, and then we took over and we get it done at the very end. Lester Phelps throws the game winner to Christian Kirk. Quite a Super Bowl. Very good game, I thought, for a lot of it. The end got very messy, I know. And I would prefer that the AI mistakes not factor into the outcome. And I also wish I could watch the game-winning touchdown that won the Super Bowl, but apparently I can't. It was certainly more of a grind to make it to this point in the series with the Browns. But I still want to keep going with this as long as you all do as well. I still want to build up this Cardinals team further and see if we can build ourselves a dynasty like we had with the Browns in so many good seasons and multiple Super Bowl appearances and victories. So thank you all for watching and supporting this series. Please leave your feedback down below in the comments section. It's a big Super Bowl win. I still can't believe it. Let me know what you think down below and please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all with more soon. Have a great day.